Avengers! Assemble. Welcome back to the channel. It's the Prevengers here, guys, and welcome back to another Marvel Future 5 video. So, as you can see here, we're with the July update sneak peek preview number three, and it's a pretty interesting one here, guys. So, let's break it down for you as we always do. Uh, but first of all, I want to address the elephant in the room. I apologize for not posting any videos the past week. Um, ever since we've got our laptop, we had a sort of battery issue with it. It seemed to come up again and again, uh, but never for a long period of time, except for this past week. Uh, and unfortunately, we were able to not edit any of the videos that we have recorded. Um, it miraculously started working again. We're going to try and see if we can have a backup plan uh, for next time, though, if this ever happens. See if I can edit from my phone, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but basically, I couldn't edit any videos for a week, uh, so I apologize for not posting. Uh, but it's working again, so we're going to be posting as much as possible. We're going to try and make up for those seven days I didn't post. I'm going to try and post uh, about seven videos in the next, uh, at least by the end of the weekend, um, because we do have sneak peeks to break down as well. Um, so yeah, we're back. That's all that matters. And we're back with the uh, sneak peek. So first of all, uh, visually and uh, the sound and everything looks great from this sneak peek. Um, they did a really nice job with this underwater theme, uh, and I love the music in the background and even the uh, effects at the very end of you hearing uh, Mysterio, if you're wondering who that is, that is Mysterio, uh, at the end, breathing in and out of his mask. So let's go ahead and see what uh, YouTube and the forums had to say, then we're going to break down the sort of sneak peek um, and then give you my sort of thoughts and whatnot and tell you everything there is to know. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So first of all, the Wizard of Illusion, the stuntman who has turned a villainy to obtain recognition, has prepared new tricks for the summer. So this is the summer update, meaning Mysterio's uniform will indeed cost 1,750 crystals uh, and will not be on sale at all, uh, but you can only buy it during the summer. So if you want to make sure uh, to upgrade him, if you want to upgrade him, basically, you're going to have to buy his uniform now. If you don't want to miss out on uh, him, then you have to get it now. If not, you have to wait till next summer. Let's go ahead and see what they say on the forums. Greetings, agents. This CM fragment of Mall Future Fight. The stuntman who has turned to villainy to obtain recognition has prepared new tricks for the summer. The Wizard of Illusion. Check out the new looks and powers of the supervillain who controls illusions and special effects at will. Thank you. So, first of all, biggest uh, thing uh, to take away from the forums post is that they say thank you and not more uh, more information will be uh, passed through the patch details. So, that means that we'll be getting another sneak peek tonight again. I'm going to try and see if I can get that video out for you guys a little sooner. But we will be having the July update sneak peek number four tonight, so stay tuned for that. Uh, this, is, this is not it for the update uh, for this mid-month. Uh, we're going to be having Mysterio plus someone else, and we'll get into that in a little bit. But the reason and the big takeaway of how uh, this is Mysterio, because a lot of people were theorizing that it could be Hydro Man, uh, that it could be all these other characters, because it's not uh, crystal clear from the sneak peek. Um, he, he looks like Mysterio, but he also kind of doesn't. Um, you could definitely, I could definitely see why some of you guys were assuming it's someone else. But because of what the forum's saying, because of what YouTube says, with the Wizard of Illusion, and at the end it even says controls illusions and special effects at will. It, it's a clear a dead giveaway that it's Mysterio. So you can put your sort of uh, theorizing caps away because it's definitely Mysterio. No one else fills these uh, categories and looks uh, as close to Mysterio as this does. 
And apparently there's some sort of comic uh, out there that had a sort of similar look to this for Mysterio. Not the exact same, but a sort of underwater fit for him. Uh, so yeah, it has been confirmed. This is Mysterio 100%. Now, if you thought it was confusing about who uh, this is, it gets a little bit more confusing. So let's go ahead and actually break down the sneak peek for you guys now uh, and take a look here. So obviously we come in through this sort of coral. We have tons of fish floating around everywhere, um, which is pretty cool actually that they even decided to include some fish just swimming around, uh, some cool animations. Then you see Mysterio walking through Seedweed uh, and just sort of stomping your way over. But what you want to pause and look at right here on the left part of your screen is that we have a T. And then three lines showing the tier three message. A little hard to see, but I hope you guys can see it in the video. Um, I can clearly see it here. And if not, go ahead and check on the forums. People have screenshotted it and uh, highlighted it over with Photoshop. But you can see here um, that there's so, sort of like white lines in the distance that make up this tier three, which is interesting because if you don't already know, you can see it a little better there actually now. Mysterio already goes... To transcendent he doesn't go to tier three so it doesn't quite make sense uh, why the tier three symbol is there um yeah it was really confusing at first and we're gonna talk about it a little bit more uh you can sort of see sort of this uh structure in the background a little bit um and then you can see uh that the t3 is actually on the side of a ship it looks like uh this cube little thing here is probably cargo uh it's a little hard to tell uh, but you can obviously see that t3 is scratched into the side there and then we just get a close-up at what he looks like. He's got this sort of mysterious eye in the middle of his uh, chest. And then he's got his green, purple color pattern going around. And obviously this huge helmet uh, that's all blue. And then, like I said, I love how at the end you can sort of hear him breathing, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so now let's actually talk about uh, my thoughts and what's going on here. So... There's a couple options of what could be happening, and I'm going to sort of break it down for you. So as we all know, um, Luna Tier 4 was leaked for uh, this summer update. So this next sneak peek should be Luna, and if not, it could be someone else. But then after that, it should be Luna. Who really knows? But Luna has been data mined by several uh, of data miners who have data mined pa uh, past updates and past character upgrades. So it's no doubt that she'll be at least getting a uniform now. What's confusing is that Mysterio goes to Transcended, and you would think that he'd be getting the Tier 4 upgrade. But because there's this T3 here, it makes you a little confused, uh, and because we were expecting Luna Tier 4, it confuses you even more. So there's a couple options that could be happening. One, the Sneak Peek team could have accidentally forgot a fourth marker, uh, or could have accidentally put in the Tier 3, because uh, they were so focused on all the other animations and whatnot. Um, that is a very big possibility. Or, um, well, not or. I, I'm assuming that's what it was. But then you go into the or of Luna and Mysterio. So Mysterio could be getting the tier four, which is what I'm going to assume right now. I'm going to assume that all of this is, ba is based on assuming that the sneak peek team uh, screwed up on accident. So then that means Mysterio is getting a tier four and to bring a new uniform. And then there's a couple possibilities with Luna. She could be getting a new uniform and a tier four. Or, hear me out, I know a lot of you guys are going to hate me for saying this, but she could be just getting a new uniform. Now, I'm not saying that's what I want, but I'm saying it's a possibility because they might want Spider-Gwen to sort of have her time to shine. Because uh, we all know that as soon as Luna comes in uh, with a brand new uniform in Tier 4, she's going to completely take over an ABX and ABL and World Boss Legend, uh, surpassing Gwen uh, exponentially and very easily, I must say. So they could be trying to just give Gwen her sort of... Uh, prime time in the meta and then maybe saving to tier 4 Luna later because we do know that at a certain point characters were getting uniforms and then they didn't get their tier 3 upgrades till later so that is possible um now the thing is or tier 4 sorry I, I meant tier 4 like Black Widow if you think at tier 3 she had multiple uniforms before she got her tier 4 upgrade so I'm saying that is possible now, like I said, a lot of you guys probably wouldn't like that because a lot of people were waiting for Luna and myself, of course, was planning on tier 4 her, but it is a possibility. Then, obviously, the possibility is that they both get tier 4s, which would also kind of make sense uh, because we've seen this sort of power creep in Marvel Future Fight over time. Uh, at first, we got introduced tier 4s before all characters were tier 3 or transcended, so I could see them just going ahead and taking that next step and saying, you know what, we're going to start releasing even more tier 4s now um so you guys have to <laughs> pay more to get more of those packs so you can get all the characters you want tier forward 
Plus, Odin uh, kind of was a little bit of a letdown, so a lot of people saved their mats, so maybe they're trying to force two Tier 4s now, knowing that they kind of screwed up on Odin. Who knows? There's a lot of different ways that you can look at it from a player perspective, from a dev perspective. So I'm just saying there are total, a lot of different possibilities, and we really won't know much until the patch notes. Uh, so I guess we're just going to have to wait for that, but just keep in mind there are these other possibilities. Um, the least likely outcome is that they both are just getting tier uh, or uniforms. Someone is getting a tier 4. I don't know who, but someone is definitely getting a tier 4, and I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. The only other thing I want to talk about is Mephi not Mephisto. I want to keep saying Mephisto. Mysterio. Uh, this is what happens when you go on a week break from making videos. Mysterio, where is he going to fit in the meta? That's a good question because he is a blast supervillain, and that means he's going to be completely, completely um, challenging and competing with Magneto for ABX and ABL, which is interesting because Magneto is also a seasonal uniform for Christmas time, uh, and Magneto's really good for ABX and ABL. That I just don't know if Mysterio has the power to be able to do that. Maybe now he does. Um, but with this tier four upgrade, if he gets that, obviously this is all a bunch of ifs right now, guys, because it's very confusing. I'm sorry. But if he does get the tier four, he's going to be competing with Magneto, um, which is going to be pretty interesting because like I said, Magneto has been there for a little while. He's really good. Um, and obviously you have to pay 6,600 crystals to get him as where Mysterio is free. Uh, so it would be interesting to see if they, uh, give Mysterio, um, the DPS to take over or not. Now, a good support of that idea is the fact that we just got Enchantress, who has a really good support for mine resist and mine damage uh, characters, which Mysterio is mainly that. So she'll be the perfect support for him in ABX and ABL if he does take over. So for those of you that invested in her and are going to invest in Mysterio, you better be hoping that he can take over from Magneto. Those of you that invested in Magneto, you better be hoping that uh, Mysterio is not going to take over. So yeah, I can see a lot of you guys are going to start butting heads there between Mysterio and Magneto uh, once he comes out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the sneak peek, guys. Like I said, a bunch of question marks. Uh, it's probably been one of the most confusing sneak peeks I've had to watch because uh, I'm, I'm a little lost as to what they're doing. There's so many different uh, possibilities between uh, their point of view and our point of view of what could happen. Uh, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, stay tuned. Like I said, lots of videos coming out soon. Uh, lots that I had recorded and I just needed to get edited out to you guys. And lots that I've been putting off and been waiting to uh, make. And what better time now that we're actually uh, up and rolling again. But thank you guys so very much for watching. And if you did enjoy today's video, then please make sure, as always, to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, guys. We'll see you all in the next one. Take care.